old jackass on me, please. Big man. <laughs> we had a deal. We had paperwork. <laughs> Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real badasses. Put a beat down on an old man. We don't, we don't take that. that. We have a deal with them. Just I'm up. Please. Get those, those my little your ass wipes. <laughs> what? Sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. Anyway, anyway shut, shut up and, and take, take a look at that. that. Oh. Oh. Fuck, fuck it. It feels good, doesn't it? It feels like I've done something in my life. life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby. I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie. A real one. Call me. Ah, see? Davey, that's why we're such great friends, huh? We're old school, we're like old-fashioned things. Newspapers, celluloid. Good guys, bad guys. We're friends? Well, I don't know, you tell me. We did what you said, right? Got those people off your back? Now you're gonna do like you said, and cut me loose, right? Things are not gonna work out quite that way. 
there's a bit of a problem. That's right, Davy boy, you could say that. Steve, I told you I would handle oh, this. Oh, because you've handled everything so fucking well so far, haven't you? All right, I admit things have been a little unorthodox, I'm but- I'm fucking orthodox! You've ruined my career! Agent Sanchez, arrest these men, both oh, of them. Steve, oh, come whoa! On, please. You fucking kidding me? Arrest me for what? For multiple counts of every fucking crime under the fucking sun. Oh, well, then let me rephrase. Why? Why? Because. Because you don't want me to testify in court about our various business dealings, right? Agent Sanchez, apprehend the suspect! Agent Sanchez, you'll do no such thing. Now, Steve, we agreed to speak to Michael, to try and explain things to him, not this. This causes problems for us all. Okay, okay. Then put your gun down and we'll talk. After you, buddy. Come on, where's the trust? You can do better than that. They know or think they know that I'm the one that was behind the incident. Uh-huh. And now you want me to clean up your mess again, right? Before I end up at the bottom of the ocean. Fucking good luck with that. Put the weapons down, boys. Fun time is over. We've got you. Anti-American activity. Put your weapons down, all of you. Who the fuck are you with? With me. You fucking rat. I knew you didn't have the balls for this. For the record, I'm a patriot. I love my country. Put the weapons down. Fuck you. We all know you agency boys are ball deep in a plot to drive up your funding by any means necessary. Put the gun down, gentlemen. Who the fuck are they? Fucking Merriweather. What are they doing here? Steve, put your gun down. Oh, same goddamn leg. Go! Fuck! Bullshit! Why are you loading the show? Watch over you at the end of the walkway, top of those stairs! I ain't going anywhere, Davy, until some more of these guys kill each other! Hey, hold the 12! He get caught in the crossfire? Don't worry about Hayes. Hayes went the other way. He's probably out. We gotta think of ourselves. You fucking pussy! Fuck! You're gonna die, bitch! Job T? No, 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 no. I'm just here for the opportunity. Now run! Touching the union and all, but I'm about to get jumped by a team of rogue agents. T, you got the vantage point. Give Dave a hand. This is the guy. This is the guy who iced Brad and would ice me? I'd be better off putting my sights on him. Looks like there's a window. D, run for that stone bench by the pool. I'll come join you. Taking this! 
this one. So long. Be careful, Davy. Doing smoking, huh? Come on, man. No, no, no. That's bad for you, don't you know, huh? Yeah, well, maybe it's got a little something to do with being caught in the middle of a three-way firefight between two government agencies and a private militia. You know, it gets me a little stressed out. Okay, but we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Unless, of course, you have another surprise for me, huh? Maybe something to do with another inappropriate friendship? Yeah, that wasn't exactly Dave's fault. No, no, no. He's just the friendly face of a corrupt government agency looking to further his career by dealing with an equally corrupt and full to the fucking brim with bullshit low rent hood. Listen, Trevor. Listen, I've been meaning. Uh, you know, I've been meaning. To, I've been meaning to tell you. You know, I've been. What, homie? What are you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were and always will be a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what Clear the fuck did you come day. back for? Oh, you know why. Ah, oh, no, no, no. One last score. Mm-hmm. And if it goes good, <laughs> guess what? I don't have to put a little bullet in your head. But if it goes bad, well, that's okay, too. Because then you and I get to go to hell. And I get to spend the rest of eternity with you, tormenting you. Well, I guess it's on, then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. Oh, we're all friends now. Suppose a group hug's out of the question? <laughs> he wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right, when it looks like it's a go, I'll contact you. And remember this, gentlemen. If we pull this off, we will be making history. Sorted, nasty. Depraved history, but history nonetheless. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. Yeah. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, what the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. 
<laughs> and in this economy, the city's going to let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us. The suits. And they don't even wear suits. Wolves in turds clothing. Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films. Now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. Evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the bill now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture, then close those lights down. I'm afraid our time I will just allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore, somewhere nice and discreet. And oh, God, it certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Get to the airport. Talk to her. That's it. That's it.
Look out! I loved you once, Tony. But there's nothing between us. Now that I know you prefer dictation. Really? We're doing this now? I just watched Devin Weston's legal counsel get juiced in a jet engine. Oh, that Molly woman? Oh, Lord, that's horrible. You have no idea. She panicked, went crazy, and ran into it. But I saved the print, so we still got our movie. You believe that analog thing? It's all digital. We have backups everywhere. I mean, we're shooting on green screen. Well, you could have told me. I'm sorry. Look, I thought you knew. The edit's nearly done, and we've got to get it out before they can screw us again. I've greenlit a premiere. That will stop them from burying us. A premiere? For Meltdown? Okay. Can you invite my family? They can finally have something to proud of me for. Crap! They can finally have something to be proud of me for. Of course! It's already on its way by courier. I'll get ready. It was... Again, Davy. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right, and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. Message for me, get off your fat ass. I see this uh, exercise stuff's about as relaxing for you as it is for my wife. No, I don't want to sleep with you, and no, I don't care that I'm 39 single and doesn't worry me a bit. I'm not stressed, stressed out, out at all. all. No, go, go fuck yourself. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Hey, just, just fuck, fuck you. you. All, all of you. you. I'm Iron Run. Run. Mm. Well, I'm a little upset. I can still run you into, into the fucking ground. ground. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I played ice baseball ball, ball, all right, sweetheart. I'll, I'll stay QBB. QB. Whatever. Whatever. Just don't, don't have, have a coronary. coronary. Let's go! <laughs> okay, man, you race you to the beach! I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. You're not exactly dressed for cardio. <laughs> Sorry I'm such a downer. I just feel paralyzed by my financial situation. 
You all have fun. I'll be, you know, looking for a Not job. too shabby, huh? You can have that one on me. I never got out of second gear. I already did a 10K today. Yeah, whatever gets you through it. Oh, my chest. Fuck me. Screw you! You're lucky I'm tapering for a try! Excuse me, sir, can I get help? Hello. Hello. Thank God you stopped. Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? Frank Mathers? The TV guy who used to do the shows about space until he became obsessed with undersea exploration? No. Not a huge fan. Frank was my husband. By not a huge fan, I mean... Not a huge fan as much as a fanatic. He was a cruel and heartless man. Well, like I said, I was not a huge fan. But I loved him. Didn't he leave his sick wife and five kids to run off with you? We loved each other. I'm sure he did. And I'm penniless now, more or, or less. Well, Frank's submarine broke apart while he was trying to save the San Andreas White Shark. But his body was never found. You know, people thought someone tampered with the airlocks. That's an outright lie. That was never proven. I love Frank, and Frank loved me, which is why we invested so much money in life insurance. If we could just prove that Frank was dead and that the airlocks weren't tampered with, I would sleep so much easier. I bet you would. I'll make it very worth your while. Guess I could take a look. You see that shit? Tell me you saw that shit. Motherfucker, clean.
Hey, Bim! Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot. You ruined the fucking shot! What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot. It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> Don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like... <laughs> but what about my money? We're shooting a show here trying to work. Hello? Or just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one. Please, we're shooting something. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now we're, now we're... One way or another, mother... Fuck, I'm getting paid. Oh, hey. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I can't on. stay. What's up, babe? But it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterwards. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear. It ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Hey, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. <sighs> look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you got to do. Fuck. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man. I'm in a bit of a bad situation. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible at all? It eh, should be. I've got a back door into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. Uh, the files got buried, so uh, I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me. And it's serious. Thanks, man.
Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh shit, there we go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way in. I saw a few possible entry points when I got here. One, the front entrance on the right there. It's the most direct way in, and most likely the heaviest. They coming for us right now! This is too organized for me! Come on! Is we ever gonna get a proper introduction, dog? Shit, homie, you all right? I'm straight, homie. Bitches got to jump on me, though. How they get you to come all the way out here?
Man, I ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. <laughs> nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun if he had fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga. That's nothing. Shit, hey, nigga. I know you done went all Illuminati and shit. You know what I'm saying? Leaving the street niggas in the back. But damn, man. Uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you. I guess it's payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in the bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dog. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. How are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turnout for your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dawg. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no, something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey, when the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who is that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey. Oh, flossing ass, nigga. Surprise! Would you look at that? There you are, hmm? Jock. Yeah, I got you that stuff. Oh, great. Thank you. Where's your wife? Mrs. Thornhill, she's mm -hmm. not my wife. She's got a husband and two lovely kiddies at home. We met online. It's no nothing sexual. Where is she? Well, she's been trying to throw herself under celebs' wheels. <laughs> really? Well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Jock. Yeah. I knew I would like you. C can I... 
Have a hug. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hug. Yeah. Uh, Come here. Come here. Uh, I've got a pr protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Alden Appley walking. He actually walks! He walks! Walk among among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. A mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. Not me! I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. Jolly bad luck, and we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only his lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is! Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. Nigel, he remembers me! To the chariot! Jock, you drive. Quick, he's getting away! Come on, Jock, get in! He's taking a left turn down the high street, Jock! Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams! All those nights spent role-playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known! I loved him in The Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Al Di Napoli line! This is turban warfare, motherfucker! <laughs> It's uncanny! <laughs> oh dear, poor Jock must think we're... Oh my word, Jock! Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith! Anyone would think this was my first kidnapping. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. I hear that behind his charitable public face, he's remarkably right-wing. One can but hope. Liberal in the bedroom, conservative. He's going into the car park! The car park! No worries, mate! What on earth will we feed the man? I hadn't even thought of that. He probably eats sushi or quinoa. Is that even how you say it? What if? Oh, my giddy aunt! Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. Do you have to lower the tone? He likes us! How could he not? This lockup you've prepared sounds charming! We'll never get that deposit back! This level of derangement? Is he going through the hospital? Oh my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on. Meet your biggest fan. Ah. Oh, you're fucking crazy. Oh, it's so lovely. You're good to go! Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting! Nut jobs. Time. I promise. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, thing. Nice house, isn't it? You like it? I'm selling it. You want to buy it? I'm downsizing. No, no, I'm good. I used to sell houses like this all the time, okay? I sold dreams. I made lives meaningful. I'm not sure about that. Oh, but you like, you like beautiful things, though, don't you? Sure. Well, I just happen to know the most beautiful woman. You want a bouncy bouncy. Josh. Josh Bernstein. Yeah. 
I'm the Josh Bernstein. Yeah, I never heard of you. Oh, well, I used to be a big deal once in real estate, and so I had my license taken away. My meal ticket. Where's the chick? I'll get to that, I'll get to that. See, it's not really, it's not really money that I'm after here. It's just, it's a little something more awkward than that. Now, Lenny Avery. <laughs> he, he was my best friend. And now, he has taken all of my clients. All of them. Do you think that you could take out all of his for sale signs? That was easy. She's worth it, man. I love you. I love you. I love you. Lenny Avery. Just watch this puppy! Care what you say? Shut your mouth! Shut it! Shut! Just keep it shut! Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything! Well, fuck you! And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. You mm. psycho! He was gonna impregnate my ex by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin! You're irrationally angry! Nothing you say makes any sense! You are completely have no control of your emotions! We have nothing in common! Oh, baby, we're made for each other! Prove it! On the bike! Now! Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait! You are just perfect, crazy cakes! Look out! You're so gonna crash! No fucking way! Whoa! You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me!
in fucking motion! Now, where's my prize? Where the hell is that skinny freak? Well, she can't even keep up with me here.